Oh yeah, I know I hear that too, Rachel. Yeah, I went to a um, antique mall this morning. What? I'm sure you're live. Says I'm live. Are you all seeing me? Okay, Emma didn't think we were live, so let me know that you're seeing me. Okay. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Laura. I hope that you guys are seeing me. Emma says that I'm live, so I'm just double checking. I'll wait a few more minutes since I am live. Okay. Okay. Everybody sees me. That's good. Um, so I'll go ahead and start telling the the um the rules i guess if you're watching later on this is my weekly live vintage sale i do this every wednesday at one o'clock eastern standard time uh and i show about 60 things i'm gonna try to you know speed up the process a little bit because i know last week it went a little long and we're trying not to do that because i know that you all got stuff that you need to be doing uh, so I do have 60 things. If we get to all of them, that's great. If we don't, then they'll be saved for next week. After this sale, then you can hop on to Instagram. and I will do my after the sale sale. And I have 15 bonus items that I will be showing as well. And um, this is the way that this works. I'm going to hold up an item. It has a number on it. I'm going to tell you the price of the item, describe the item a little bit, and then I will give you the number of the item at the, at, at, the, at the very last, the way it's fair for everybody. If you see something that you like, all you have to do is type in the number in the chat. The way that this works though, and I'll just go ahead and say this now, if, you're, if you've um, you know, been to these sales, you, you know how it works. It all is going to depend, depend on how it shows up on Emma's end. She's sitting right here. She's got her computer, so she's looking and it may show up on your end that you're first it always will for some reason it, it does that a lot of times but it's going to depend on how it shows up on emma's end because we can't see everybody's internet screen so all right hi michael i saw joanne hopped into and andrea hi evan joanne okay so let's go ahead and get started um, if you have any questions about anything Feel free to just put them in the chat. Um, Emma can answer them. I can answer them. Um, Emma will try. Are you going to tell me who won it or are you going to type it in? I'll tell you. Okay, Emma's going to tell me who who won the item and then uh, I will announce it because I'm not, I'm going to try not to, I'm going to get my camera down to where it's adjusted a little bit better. I'm going to try not to read the chat as much. We'll see. But it's I can far away. It's too far away. Sorry, guys. I should have done this before. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with one thing. Now, I have... Um, oh, we didn't... How are we going to do these? We didn't figure that out. I'll just write them down. Okay. But how are they going to... We'll do these a letter. Okay. So, I've got... These are going to be letters. And then you can just write down a description. So, Emma has made face masks. She's made one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Uh, these, I'm going to offer these. They're $5 plus shipping. They are, this is one like I have. She made me one like this. And they're the ones that you put on your face and they do spread, you know, to cover your chin. They have a little wire in here so you can, you know, make them pinch against your nose. On one side is this fabric and on the other side is like a flannel which I like because it's soft, you know, on your nose. So you're supposed to use two different, this one, you're supposed to use two different kinds of material. So she has made these. If this is something that you guys want, she might start offering them, you know, a couple times a week. So I'm going to go ahead and show a couple of these first, and then I may, you know, show a couple of them later, and I may offer a couple. Yes, she's also going to do a thing where she's going to give some away too. She feels bad about selling them, but, um, you know, she ha does have money in these. So she's, you know, she's going to $5 plus shipping. So that's what she's going to sell them for. They do have elastic that go around your ears, you know, and not the tie. Or I had one that would go around your whole head and I didn't like those. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> Laura said, Emma, don't ignore your future mother-in-law. <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the first one that we're going to offer. And I think we only have, right now we only have one of this. We do have more of this style. So if you don't get one and it's one, if you're wanting one like this, just send me an email and she can make more. Uh, but this one is going to be the first one I'm going to sell. It is $5 and it is letter Y. Letter Y for the first face mask. And it's going to keep track. Mary. Mary. So Mary, I don't know if you've bought for me before, but make sure that you send me an email. My email is uh, Poshy. No, that's my old email. <laughs> Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. And my email is in the description, so you don't have to write it down or anything. You can um, look it up later. Okay, so I will do one more face mask and then we'll move on to the other things. This is the next one. It's kind of a pale pink. Kind of a, like a floral pale pink hi alex hi d and it also has the gray kind of flannel on that side all of these do have the metal that go around you know that pinch your nose especially if you wear glasses that's a big thing because you know my your glasses get fogged up and then you can't see it's exactly the same style it's just a different pattern and this one's also five dollars and this one is letter b Oh, letter, no, it's going to have to be B. Okay. Letter B for the pink and gray face mask. I have Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Well, Andrea, I'll just put this in your pile of stuff because Andrea is coming to see me on Friday. And Evan. Hi, Kathy. Oh, my mom's watching. Hi, mom. Okay. Now let's, we'll, we're, we'll, I'll do some more face masks in a little bit, but let's move on to some vintage shall we i know everyone's here to buy a face mask hi Vinny. okay the first thing that i have here is this cute little silver little trinket dish it is footed i don't know if it was like a dresser dish um you know, to keep little your jewelry are the sh masks machine washable yes they are i, I just we haven't washed ours yet so i don't well know. well i've washed that one i just wouldn't dry them in the dryer um, honestly, I would probably hand wash them to be safe and then just let them hang to dry. But we can wash ours. On that. Yeah, we're going to wash ours and then I'll, I'll let you know. But I would think that they would be okay. I've washed the fabric, so I would think that it would be okay. But I just wouldn't dry it. Okay. So this little, this little, um, trinket dish, it is... I, don't, I can't tell the, the maker's mark. It's not sterling, though, but it has a mark on there. I was just lazy and I didn't get my loop. But this is $10 for this little shell silver dish, and it is number 12. Number 12 is $10 for the little shell-shaped dresser trinket dish. Kathy Corey? Okay, Kathy Kurens. Yeah. Okay, Kathy Kurens, you got, I about said letter 12. You got letter 12. That would make no sense. Okay. Next we have, oh, hi, Michelle. Next we have some Redware. Let me put the tag in my hand so nobody can see it. Redware Kitty Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers. The the shaker parts are missing, but look at how fun these are. Could you imagine sitting at the table and you're you're sitting there eating dinner and you're going to use your cat salt and pepper shaker? I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. You would do that. Huh? You would do that. I would do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on my mashed potatoes out of my kitty cat shaker. I think they're great. The This one has a little bit, the paint's a little bit more paint loss. And this one, they both have their diamond eyes. This this one right here is just a little bit faded and clouded, but still pretty cool little things. They are $8, and they are number 16. $8 for number 16. I have to throw over here. Oh, D! D got the kitty cats. They kind of look like Binks. They're little Binks shakers. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to show you. You know, you know that I love advertisement and I love bottles with 
labels and tins and all that kind of stuff because I like the artwork and the font on it. I have this really cool bottle here. Let me try to. This is a tariffs something extract because this part right here is missing but it's imitation strawberry from tariff and company perfumers uh extract makers from portland michigan so it has the original paper label on there with this fancy man with his little handlebar mustache woohoo it's not kind of weird that they put this man's face on the imitation strawberry but they did and on the back is embossed, and it has a flaw in the glass. It's not, it's not been shattered. It's just a flaw in the glass. You can see it. It's kind of bubbled in, on the on on the inside. Uh, this is fourteen fifty, and it is number fifty three. Number fifty three is fourteen fifty for the. Um, Really cool paper label, fancy pants I bottle. Have Pines. Oh, Liz! Bergen Pines is Liz. And Liz, you have to let me know if you got your girls yet. Liz bought some pretty big pieces of artwork from me. And so I I hope that they, she got them or she, they're on their way because it always makes me a little nervous. All right. Next we have an insulator. <coughs> this is a really cool insulator. Now I will, I will say that the bottom of it does have some issues. Uh, late arrival cause no live chat. Any ma Yes, I have only sold two masks, Hillary. I'm going to, I'm going to get some more. Huh? Six. Six. Yeah, I have, I have um, five more. Four more. Four more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my drink. Yes. This is the strawberry refresher lemonade. Strawberry lemonade refresher, right? They'll understand what you're saying. Yeah. And it has, it does have some caffeine. Yes. I love it. Emma loves it. She brings me one when she comes to do these. The strawberry shake is my, it's good. It's good with the milk in it too, but I like, I like it with the lemonade better. Okay. This is a Holly, Pennsylvania. USA embossed insulator. I like this one because it's the, sh I like the shape of it. It's more like a bullet shape. Some of them are kind of fatter and wider at the, on the, the edges of them. I don't have another one all handy to show you, but you can see this, the coil on the inside. It's this really beautiful uh, blue glass. What I have done with these is I've gotten a battery operated candle and like a flicker candle and then put it underneath and you can you put the the insulator on top of it and it'll flicker and kind of light up it's really kind of pretty so this is again made by the holly you can see that it's h-a-w-l-e-y this is six dollars and it's got some weight to it i'm just gonna, i'm in indiana so just understand that it's it's a little heavy um it is Number 37 is $6 for the glass insulator. And I have more of these. If this is something that I just kind of wanted to see if anybody would want these before I showed more than just the one. So number 37 is $6. Who do you have, Emma? For 37, I have um, Mary. Mary. Mary, you got number 37. Did you see June's message? We'll talk later, June. I sent you a text message. Okay. <coughs> and y'all know I have a stack of, lin of linens over here. I keep getting choked on my drink. Emma keeps getting choked on her strawberry drink. And I went to the antique mall today and I got more linens. So it's going to be a linen party every week. This is the first one. Where's the tag at? So I don't show it. This one is a square linen it does have some stains in it you know as a lot of the times they do and a little couple little pinholes in in it the color it has these little red roses and kind of an olive green color and this really pretty lace that goes all the way around i'm gonna try to back up so you guys can hopefully see is that good emma 
Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see, I know. But it's square. It is $8 and it's number 47. Number 47 is $8. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Eight dollars for number forty-seven. I have Lori C. Lori C. Gotcha for that. Okay. I have another little doily. This one is pretty sweet, and I can envision this someone doing something really, really cute with this. Oh, with someone having problems? Yeah, go completely out of YouTube, like completely shut it, shut your screen off, and then come back. I'll kind of talk a little bit and give you time to do that. Okay, this is really, really sweet. I can see someone making this into like a the cover of a pillow. It's another little linen, but look at the little, it's like a little golden retriever dog on it. It does have a little hole right there and some staining on it. It's almost like a quilt square. And I just think that it's so cute. And this is uh, $5, and it is number 46. Number 46 is $5. And it's so cute. It's like a little golden retriever, I think. All right, number 46 is $5. I have June. Okay, June. June. June got the little dog. It's so cute. All right, I have a couple of these. So if you don't get the first one and you want one, then you might get the next one. And then I have one more that'll be sold during um, the Instagram sale. The, I have three of these, like I said, and they're these little bugs. Now they were a friction toy, but the friction no longer works. So they just roll around, but they don't, when you draw them back, they don't go automatically. But they are super cute. They would be really cute in a summer display. Hi, Mignon. And they do have some, you know, they've been played with. You can obviously tell that. They are made by, I believe it's Kine. Oop. You can see there. They're made in Japan. Cute little bugs. I just, this is the kind of stuff that I just love. I just love this tin and metal toys. This, these are, this one is $5 and it's number 56. Number 56 is $5. With a little bug. I have Deanna Dill. Deanna Dill. Well, I have another little bug. Actually, maybe we should just do the second. Should we do the second person? Save time. But not they look different. They're the, they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. Yeah. So let's. We're just going to do the second one in line. Who do you have? Janet. Hume. Janet Hume. So Janet Hume. That's number 57. That's number 57. I do have one more that I'm going to show in, in during the Instagram sale. But I think they look really cute on the tiered tray. They're exactly the same. Exactly the same. All right. Next, I have this really cute little Hall Swan. H-U-L-L. I believe this was an ashtray of some sort, or like I said in my video, could have been a, a pipe holder, which is very odd to have a ashtray or a pipe holder as a swan. That's not a, I don't know, it's just, just odd to me, but it is marked USA. It is 815. It's like that matte finish that I, I it's just, I love, I love to feel <laughs> this finish on this pottery. Um, there's no chips or cracks in it anywhere. It's in really good condition. It isn't it isn't stamped hull on the bottom, but I did some research on it, and it is hull pottery. Uh, this little swan is $12. Oh, I don't know. That would be odd, too, for a cigar and a swan. I don't know. $12, and it's number two. $12 for the... Swan. Now, I think that these came in a set, like there was a big duck or big swan and then her two little babies. And I think the big duck was a planter and the babies were ashtrays. I, don't I have know. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Very cute. And I do, next week's video, I have some more swans. I found, I found some more really neat ones. So I will have some swans in next week's video as well. All right. This is something that, again, I love this stuff. 
I love these old tins. This one dad just picked up, and I think that it would be neat if you, like for a man cave or for a Father's Day gift. I do have several things that, I, that I'm showing that might be used for Father's Day gift, because that, that's coming up, right? So this is a gun oil. It's made by Revelation. It's polarized and it contains silicone. And it was made in Kansas City, Missouri. And it's this really neat orange and black and yellow. Okay. Now it is dented in, as you can see. The back of it here says it's for all firearms. So it's just a cute little tin. I just like this stuff. Dad has cleaned it up so it's nice. It's not grimy or anything. Okay. This is $4. And it's number 55. $4 for number 55. Yeah, this would be good for a Halloween display, too. Can you turn off the vibrations? It shakes the oh, phone. I'll turn off my vibration. Okay. Water Sorry, baby. I just gave you guys all a earthquake there, too. Water baby. Kathy, you got the, the gun oil tin for $4. All right. Next, I have a set of four of these frosted cups with these really pretty dogwood flowers on them. I think that these would be really pretty to drink out of now and in the summertime. There are two of these, kind of like a seafoam green. They are frosted, but and they're frosted. Are they frosted on the inside too? Yeah, they're frosted on the, in in, the inside too. But they have these really pretty dogwood flowers on them. They're not marked. I'm not sure who has made these, but there are, they're all in excellent condition, too. There's two green ones and two white ones. They would look really neat if you had a vintage drink carrier. They would look really neat displayed in that. But you could use these as well. Obviously, don't put them in the dishwasher. But um, these are a set of four. They are $10, and they're number 58. Number 58 for the vintage glasses. Yeah, the, lovely for ladies who lunch on the lanai. You're right, Michelle. Yeah, they're really, really neat. And they do kind of stack. You know, you could put them in your cabinet, kind of. But I think they look really neat displayed in a vintage drink carrier. All right, Emma, who do you have? Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Oh, you guys. Shirley Pearl's in the house. She's I'm just kidding. Fingers. I'm just kidding, Shirley. You know I love you. She's got the fastest fingers in, in the West. Or in the Midwest, let's say. Okay, I have another really pretty linen. I actually have, I have several of these dresser scarves that I'll be showing. This is the first one. I love, it has these really pretty tulips on each. Let me show you this in first because I'm trying to hide the tag. These really pretty tulips that are on each side. And now this one has a couple little areas. I think it's this one that the tatting around it was a little torn. Maybe it wasn't this one. The tatting around it was a little torn. But the, the whole dresser scarf itself is like, it looks like it's almost been tea stained almost. I mean, it hasn't been, but it's a little yellowed. And these have been washed, but not treated because I, I just don't do that. I let you guys do that because sometimes people don't want them restored. So this dresser scarf is $8 and it is number 45. Number 45 is $8 for the really pretty tulip hand embroidered dresser scarf. I have Joan. Joan Creekmore. Joan yes. Creekmore. 45. 45. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to sell these. These are, I've talked about these. That's Mamma and Papa. Mamma and Papa Amish. They're made from wood. They have these, and this is the thing. They are so over each other. They are like sick of being in the same room during quarantine. Look at their hands. They are over it. Can't you just see? Look at that. Ugh. But anyway, they are, I don't know if they're hand carved, but they are made out of wood. They're these little shelf sitters. Uh, and they do have this like little foam here on the bottom so they won't scratch the surface. I had them, you know, you could just have them hanging out on a shelf. Just like that. Kind of far away from each other because they're getting on each other's nerves a little bit. So I do have these. These are just a fun, kind of a folk art piece. 
Um, they are $15 and they are number three. $15 for Mamaw and Papaw. Um, well, they don't really look like Mamaw and Papaw, really. They're just an Amish couple. She does have a little bit of wear. I don't know if it's, I think it's just where her paint is rubbed off just a little bit for Mamaw and Papaw. And, well, the Amish couple. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I hope that you make sure that they get along on in their new home because they look like they are sick of one another <clears throat> okay this next thing is so cool this is the kind of stuff that i like are you are you back with us jackie yes an internet booster that's what we got and it has been a godsend no more buffering for me at least so it sometimes too if you call your internet provider we did that and they would sent you out a new they sent us out a new like what is that called a router they sent us out a new router it still wasn't working very well so we got these wi-fi wi extenders for free because you're supposed to be able to get good internet when you're in town so we got them for free so it's worth calling your cable company okay this is super cute or it's super cool it's not really super cute it is the super made aluminum cleaner in the original box it still has the little brillo pads inside Look at her cleaning her dishes with that really cool yellow apron that I wish I had. She's using these scouring pads to clean her dishes. Um, these were made in Chicago, Illinois, but it does have the writing all over. And it's like an orange and blue, and you could order more uh, for $1. It says, please send a postage prepaid six packages of made aluminum cleaner for the special price of a dollar you can get six of them for a dollar for which i enclose one dollar bill i guess you could send them cash and they would send you your aluminum cleaner these just look really neat on in a vintage kitchen for a display it, it, it does have the graphic on both sides and on the bottom here so these are this box is ten dollars and it is number 20. Number 20 is $10 for the really cool. This is one of those things that I about kept too, but I decided I, I didn't need it. So number 10, number 20 is $10. I have Sue Taylor Williger. Sue Taylor -Winger. Tiller. Oh, Sue, we're going to mess your name up again. Sue Tiller Winger. No. That's not right. Oh, thanks. These nails are stickers from Walmart. <laughs> they are great. I love them so much. Alex and I have been just loving these. They're just stickers and they last for like 14 days. They're wonderful. I love them so much. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Yeah, nail polish stickers are the best invention ever. I do believe. Okay, I'm gonna show this. This is something that I absolutely love and I almost kept this one but I, I I just I'm not but it's this beautiful photo of this handsome young man uh and this the thing that's I mean the man is very cool and thank you for your service sir you're very very cool oh I didn't realize it it says Chuck someone has written Chuck on on the picture but the cool thing about this is the frame See the stars and stripes around the frame? Isn't it so neat? Now, this frame was in kind of disrepair. And dad, my dad, kind of put it all back together again. And now it's as good as new. And he, he did add the picture to it. It's a picture that we had. And it has these little flaps here that you can change the picture out. The frame, it's a wooden frame. It's so, so cool. This is $10.00. For Chuck. You can own Chuck for $10 and he's number 52. Really, really cool thing for a Memorial Day display <laughs> or a 4th of July display. If you want to put your own soldier's picture in here, that's fine, but don't ditch Chuck. Chuck deserves a spot in your home somewhere. Deanna Dill. Okay, Deanna Dill. Yeah, just don't ditch Chuck, Deanna. Deanna, he, Chuck needs, he deserves his time out of a box for a while. All right. Someone asked, um, how do you pay if you buy something? Okay. 
How do you pay? Um, you will send me an email with um, your PayPal e your PayPal email address, whatever account is um, attached to your PayPal email, um, your PayPal email and your shipping address. Sometimes people forget to send me their shipping address, and I can't get your shipping ready if I don't have your address. Um, so yeah, don't ditch Chuck. I know Chuck. Chuck's a good man. He served our country. He deserves to be out in the open. Um, but I will, it will, it takes me several days to get the stuff together. Cause like I said, I sell about 70 things and I do all the packaging and everything myself. And so it does take me a while. So if you, if you don't hear back from me, I've gotten your email. And if I don't hear back from you, I'll chase you down. But if I need your email, if you've not bought something from me before, you have to send me an email. Emma's talking on the phone. Okay, Emma's talking on the phone. So I'll go ahead and show something just to show it to you and, and we'll just kind of carry on. I have another doily. This one is shorter, but it has these really pretty hand-stitched baskets. This one as well is a little faded and kind of, I want to say, again, it looks like it's been tea stained, but it's it's not. It's just... You know, it's just the wear on it from the age. Are you okay? Yeah. Who was that? Jake. Oh. Me. Guys, you guys need to be sending some positive juju for Brutus because he is still not doing very well. He, we've took, we've spent a lot of money on him and he still is just not acting right. So I don't have a really good feeling. I sure it was an emergency. Yeah, he's been using the bathroom in the house, and he's shaking all the time. So I, I, we don't know what's going on with him. So hopefully he'll get better. But um, this table linen is number 44, and it's $6. I should have said the price first, but I got a little distracted by Brutus. We're all a little stressed out about little, our little guy. As much of a jerk as he is, we do love him. $6 for number 44. Brutus is 10 years old. I thought he's it was 14. 12, he's 12 oh, he's 12 years old. Yeah, we were trying to figure out. We had to do he's, some research. Yeah, he's 12 years old. All right. Do you Jared get anybody? Jared Elkins. Okay, Jared. Jared got you for number 44. Yeah, and we just lost our Bella, you know, several months ago. So it's not been a real good. And I lost my cat, Conway. So it's been kind of a stressful spring, and sad spring for us. Okay. I can't talk about it anymore or I'll get upset. So let's just go ahead and move on. The next item is another bottle, which you guys know that I love these bottles. This one is Dr. King's New Discovery for coughs and colds. That's what's embossed there on the bottle. On the side, it is H.E. Buckland and Company. I know it's kind of hard to tell. And then on, actually it says that on this side too. And it is just a medicine bottle, just like a snake oil salesman bottle. Um, it is $6 and it's number 38. You can see I had $6.50 on it when I had it in the shop, but I took it down to six. All right, I think I see Alex. Yes, Alex. Is gotcha, Alex. Deanna Dill got, I just put it in the chat, but I got the military photo. I didn't tell you that. Oh, Deanna Dill, you got the military photo. Emma said she just didn't. Um, say that okay so this is something that we had a little bit of discussion in instagram that were these cats or were these bunnies and i'm pretty sure that they're bunnies however well i'll show you in a minute but they're you can see he, they've got little long ears because i have cat ones over here and their ears are shorter but you see they've got long ears now the ears the leather ears are brittle um so i'm just I'm just warning you, you could get these in the mail and the ears might need glued back on because the leather is brittle. And they had some sort of a tail on the back. Surely it wasn't a long tail because rabbits don't have long tails. I don't know. what Whatever these are. It's almost a dog. It's not a dog. I don't think it's a dog. Anyway, they've got red eyes, which I adore. And they have red noses. And his little whiskers are... He's having some issues with his whiskers, but super cute. They do say they have the S and the P in this very mid-century font. 
and they are both marked Japan, and they both have their stoppers in them. These are $8, and they are number 13. $8 for number 13. A reindeer? Jeffrey, those aren't reindeers. 13. Who did you get, Emma? June. June. June, you get the cat dog bunny, guys. Oh, remember cat dog? That was a good cartoon on Nickelodeon. Okay. I have two enamel pots. I'm going to show you the little one first and then the big one. This is the little one. Really pretty um, sunshine yellow and black. And these are just, you can, you could still use these. You can use them for display. You can, I, you, you can just have all kinds of uses for them. Th this one is $6 and it's number 17. 17 is $6 for the little ena yellow enamel pot. Okay. I have Deb Riley. Yep. Deb Riley. And then I've got its big sister here. So you can see this is the little one. This is the big one. I mean, this, they're, they're a little bit different sizes. They, they, they do nest in one another too, but same thing, only it's a, it is bigger. This one is $8 and it's number 18. Number 18 is $8. They do have the hole at the top where you can hang them if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I have Hillary Hines. Hillary Hines. Got the enamel. All right, let's go ahead and do another face mask. Uh, this is the, this is, the, I want her to make me one in this fabric because I think it's so pretty, but it's this really pretty floral fabric here. And again, they do expand so you can, you know, you're supposed to wear them underneath your chin. They have the ear straps and they have the metal in the nose to pinch down so if you wear glasses, you can adjust them. And it also has the gray felt on this side. I love this fabric. I think this is really pretty. And this one is $5 and it's letter L. L. Letter L is $5 for the face mask. I have Lori Potter. Lori Potter. Yeah, and these all the, if you're tuning in late, my daughter, Emma, who's almost 21 years old, has made these face masks and she will be making more. So if, if you are wanting some, you can always send me an email and um, we can see what, what she, what she can do. She needs a new sewing machine. She said that she's about to throw that one out the window. So that's, that's why she only made five of them because she's, she's over the sewing machine. Okay. Next I've got saucy time. It's saucy time for the saucy calamity Jane. Look at her. Showing all that skin, and so is he. I never realized, because it said on the back, like I said in the video, Lusty Legend has credited Calamity Jane with anywhere from three to 12 husbands. Did you all know that about, was Calamity Jane had that many husbands? She's like the Elizabeth Taylor of cowgirls, I guess. But this was made by a, it was the pocket size books made by Avon. On the inside, the pages are coming attached from the binding just a little bit. Uh, the the um, copyright date is 19, okay, originally 1937 was the first edition. This is copyrighted 1951 by Ethel, Ethel Houston. I love the graphics on this alone, I think are fabulous. Just, you could display that. I think it's just neat. So this is uh, $6. And it is number 21. So 21, yeah, I don't think Calamity Jane, I don't, I mean, I guess I, do we know what Calamity Jane looks like? I don't know, but she's, this one's pretty, she's saucy. Michael Todd. Michael! I have other books for you, Michael, that he, that he got for me last week that we were waiting. This is just amazing. So anyway, I'm glad that you got it, Michael, because Michael loves books. Okay, so speaking of Father's Day, coming right around the corner, I have this really cool vintage Dad's Root Beer bottle. It does, now it's empty. It doesn't have the liquid in it, 
but it does have the dad's tab still attached on it. I, I think dad got it attached again somehow, but this is the big junior. It is embossed dads all the way around. This one was bottled in Vincennes, Indiana, bottled under the license of dad's root beer. And so this is Shearcliffe Industries. This one is a vintage bottle. Um, it's that heavy, heavy duty glass. It's anchor hawking, I think, on the bottom there. And this is $10 and it's number 36. Will be neat for a Father's Day gift. Look at his face. He's, it's the big junior size. So number 36 is $10. I love dad's root beer. I know, I love dad's root beer too. Okay. I have June again. June. June got number 36. All right. <clears throat> Okay, this is, oh, where'd it go? This is something that I just wanted to try. I don't know if anybody will want these or not. I have a couple more boxes of them, but I'm just going to show one today just to see if what the interest is. But they are these vintage taper candles with these swans on them. And they've got, um, oh, swans. <laughs> They're like a seafoam green color, like a mint green color. Um, they do have like a skew number, I think. I don't know if that's a skew number or not. They don't have a readout on them anywhere. They are 10-inch decorator candles made by Antico International, made in Hong Kong. And um, these are $3, brand new in the package, $3, and they are number 59. Number 59 for the decorator candles are three dollars. I have Sue Terwilliger. Oh gosh. Sue Terwilliger. Terwilliger. I think. Sue Terwilliger. Ho hopefully we said that right. All right, I do so I will have more of these next week. I have another set identical to this one, and then I have a pink, pink one too. Okay. She gave us a thumbs up, so I think we said it right that time. Oh, good. Okay, this is a really pretty lamp. It's it's a porcelain lamp. It's going to be hard to... Well, let me just kind of zoom in or show you the details first. This is... I believe it's transfer. Yeah. And it has the gold bows with the flowers. It's like a, it's a candlestick lamp. It's got a little bit of weight to it, too. Does not have the cord on it anymore, so you'd have to screw it apart and put a new cord on it, and um, which is not a hard thing to do. It, you can watch a YouTube video and and do that to make this another a cool, cool lamp. It doesn't have the shade or anything. It's just the candlestick of the lamp, um, and it the base of its porcelain. It's really cool. This is six dollars, and it's number forty eight. Number forty eight is six dollars this is porcelain too and so is the base i have thrill of the thrift oh d thrill of the thrift got these hi laura <clears throat> yeah i think it's really pretty it could be easily you could easily rewire that okay we have another pounder i know that's not what they're called but that's what i will forever call them these are these primitive wooden mallets. This one is one that has been varnished. So it's really pretty and you it brings out the grain and the wood. I love that this is just beat all up because this was used. I love pieces that were a like a utilitarian piece that you can just use again in your decor. This one would work best if you displayed it on its side because it's a little... Let me try to show you it doesn't sit real it's kind of it, it kind of rolls around a little bit so you could put this in a crock you could lay it on its side this primitive wooden mallet is ten dollars and it's number 32 number 32 for the primitive i mean you could again you could knock someone over the head with this too small lamps like that are excellent for putting on your kitchen counter you're exactly right yeah, I love a lamp in every room. I do. I just like the look of a lamp in every room. I have them in my dining room. I have them in uh, our bedrooms. I always have a lamp on in every room. 
Okay, you got, I have June. June, your husband isn't acting up, or if he is acting up, you can pound him with the pounder. Okay. These I know are gonna be very popular, as they should be, because they are pretty cool. They are the, the stoned turtles. Look at their faces. He is just, you know, he's just hanging out. And this one is almost asleep. <laughs> deadly weapons. Oh, it could be. It could be a deadly weapon. Okay, so these were made in Japan. They both have, well, this one sticker is a little bit better on it. Made in Japan. They both have their stoppers. So you could use the stoned turtles on your, you know, your table. Yeah, I know Laura, that Laura better be watching. She likes these. So they're made out of a, not a ceramic. Yeah, kind of a ceramic. But these are 10, no, yeah, $10. And they are number 10. $10 for number 10, the cute little turtle shakers. <clears throat> I have Laura. Oh, Laura, Laura, these were destined for you. These were destined for you, Laura. So these are coming your way. I think that they're fabulous. Okay, next here I have a piece of jadeite that is a reproduction. It is not old in any way, shape, or form. When Now, you can, I can pick up a piece of jadeite and know, even if it's the restaurant wear jadeite, because most of the time it, it will be marked. This is marked nothing. And I can just tell by the swirls in the glass and where the seams are that this is not a vintage piece. So they do make a lot of reproduction jadeite. But this does still look very cute in a kitchen. You can still use it to put your sugar in for your coffee bar. Um, and if it breaks or you could put this one in the dishwasher. I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher, but you could put this one in the dishwasher. Um, so you can be a little bit safer and not feel like you're going to be worried that it's going to get broken. So this is $8 and it's number 60. $8 for number 60. Yeah, it is. A, I love jadeite, but I like, I have jadeite shakers that we use every single day and I, I love them. I have Jared Elkins. Okay, Jared. Jared, you get number 60 for $8. Okay. Okay. I know that Jeffrey had sold one of these at, on his sale and people were saying that it was a hamburger press. And I've had people tell me that these things are tortilla presses. This one obviously is a hamburger pre press because it has a cow on it. I don't think that they would have a tortilla press with a cow on it. However, I don't know that I would really want to press my hamburgers in a wooden thing because I would think that that would be a whole like Petri dish of all kinds of ailments but this cute little bum steer i love his little transfer it's a transfer piece like someone had added this on and it is made in japan it is marked japan right up there laura some people have told me that it was a tortilla press it would be unsanitary for this to be a hamburger press it would be more sanitary if it was a tortilla press anyway um this is six dollars and it was or it is number 31. It would look cute on a, in your display of your kitchen if you have like a cow theme. 650 for number 31. I have Kathy Corins. Kathy Corins. I'll tell you what, I still talk about, and Emma's gonna laugh, but we went to San Diego a couple years ago and they were selling street vendor tortillas. They, I, I, I it was the best tortilla. I still talk about that tortilla, how wonderful it was. A little it was. old lady making tortillas. Yeah, it was just this little old lady on the side of the street just selling these hand-rolled tortillas, and she was pressing them, and they were warm, and she put butter on them. They were amazing. I talked about those tortillas that whole trip, didn't I? I was like, boy, I wish we were still in. We went to Old Town in San Diego and had the best tortillas, just plain old tortillas. Nothing on them, but they were so stinking good. Oh, wait, moving on. Another cool can. I love the colors on this. I love the graphic on it. I love that he is just standing there all fancy. He's a little Scottish guy. I don't know if he's 
Max, but look at his hands. He's like, this is Max Oil. I don't know. Sealer and Stop Leak. The bottom of it is rusty, but it does not have any of the scanners on it. The dad, My dad calls them the readouts. It doesn't have any of the readouts on it. Barcodes? Uh, well, they're barcodes, but dad calls them readouts. So okay. that's what I have always called them at. But they have the, the ingredients, or the ingredients, the directions on the back. They're made. This was made in from the Max Super Gloss Company. Los Angeles, California, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, so anyway, very cool graphics. It still does have the cap on it. It's just a cool piece to put in your display to add some color and interest. This is $6.50 and it is number 26. Number 26, it does have a little dent right there. You can see. But it's, it is clean and nice and polished. This was another garage rescue. And I think that just giving it a new life again in your home would be awesome. There is not a zip code on it. No. Nope. C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if George is watching, but George the Antique Nomad. Matt, man? <laughs> the Antique Nomad? The Antique Nomad likes bookends. So these are really pretty cool. They are made by Metzke, M-E-T-Z-K-E. -E. Well, I'll show you the, there's the maker's mark. These are a little heavy. They're metal bookends with these geese, ducks on them. I don't know, but they've got little babies there. The babies are so cute, but they, you do get both of them. And they won't, I mean, they'll, they're kind of easy to ship because they do fold in on one another. But you can, you know, Michael, you can put all your books on here and have a really cool book bookends. You can't get these at Walmart. These are cool. They are $16. Oh, they were made for, this is where they were, were originally sold, apparently. Olympia Candy Kitchen in Hagerstown, Maryland in Chambers, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. These are number one. $16, number one for the... Duck Metzke bookends. Yeah, these would be great for Father's Day. I have Randy Heilman. Randy Heilman. Gotcha, Randy. Okay, Memorial Day and 4th of July is, well, Memorial Day is on Monday. I have my Memorial Day display set up. I haven't filmed it. I need to do that this weekend. I have had some people that were asking me about it. And this is a really cool piece that would be great for a display. Look at the sides. It's very, um, oh, what's that movie called? Easy Rider. Uh, on, it reminds me of the Easy Rider helmet. But it has these children that were patriotic. <laughs> it is double-sided, the flag all the way around it. You can use this as a display. You know, to, you can stack things on top of it. I just, it's just a cool piece. It is made by Ohio Art. Does not have the thermos, but it is in really good shape. Um, it has been, it does have a couple little surface scratches on it, but really for, this was probably in seven, 1776, 1976. And it is $15 and it's number 23. It does look like Schoolhouse Rock. There isn't any mention of any character or anything on it, but it does look like Schoolhouse Rock. I'm assuming that this was probably put out in 1976 for the Bicentennial. I have Lesta Fitzpatrick. Lesta Fitzpatrick. Yeah, this is a really cool piece. It would look good in the display. All right, got another, oh, ooh, this, oh, I dropped them all. I believe that there are five of these in here. They are all exactly the same. This one, however, does have a, a hole in it, but they're these sweet little uh, doilies. I don't know if these were, because I know that they used to put these on like the, ch the arms of chairs, but there are, I think, five. So we've got one. There's the graphic. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one has a little hole in it there too. Four and five. They are $8 for all five of them and they are number 43. 
Number 43 is $8 for all five of the sweet little dresser scarves or doilies. They're really soft too, but they do have some issues on them. We have Laura Melendez. Laura Melendez. Yeah, these are really cute. They've got the pink trim. Very, very cute. All right, I'm trying to put these all. All right, here is another doily. This one is a round one. This one I see like on a like on a plant stand being used on a plant stand to drape over. It has uh, flowers and butterflies. It it has some staining on it and some yellowing on it. It's not in perfect condition. It's clean but not treated. And this is six dollars and it's number forty two. I think it, yeah, six dollars for number forty two. I have Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. Hi, Mary. I just opened your box yesterday, Mary. I've got to get that video edited. So, Mary sent me a box of friend mail. Okay, let's do another face mask. Another face mask made by my daughter, Emma. This one could be worn by, I think it could be worn by a guy or a girl. But it has a little bit of flowers. It has some flowers on it, but they don't. You can't see them that bad, but it's like an army, kind of an army green. Again, this one does open up, and as you can see here, it does have like some, some flowers on it. It also has the metal to pinch around your nose. It does have the flannel on the back side, so it's really soft against your nose. I wore mine today when I went to the antique mall, and it was great. Um, the bands that go around your ears, this is $5, and it is letter... G, letter G, is $5. Christine, you may need to refresh and make sure that you're in live chat. I have Jean, Jean Draper. Jean, Janine Draper. Jean, 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 Jean Draper. It's yours. Okay, next one, these are so fun. I just love these. I almost kept these two, but I, I didn't. They're these really, mm, I, I about said Metro. My dad, dad's upstairs watching right now. My dad calls anything that's retro, he calls it Metro. They're all, they're all Metro, Misty. You know, that Metro stuff that you like? They're retro. Um, they're kitty cat salt and pepper shakers. See how the ears are short on this one and the ears on that one's long? That's what made me think that it's a, it's a, that one, the other one's a bunny. This one, he is missing an eye. You can see he's missing his eye. The whiskers are still there. They both have their stoppers on them. And these are $12 and they are number 14. Number 14, $12. They are wood. They're made of wood. Yeah, these are for sure cats. Yeah, these I are for sure cats. Val and... Val M. So Val, I don't recognize you. Make sure that you send me an email at the end of this so you can, um, I can get these ready for you. My email will be in the description. It's thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, but it will be down below too. Okay, I know that Rachel likes these, Superior Girl Vintage. I have a really cool RC Royal Crown bottle. I love these bottles. I love to use them in displays. They are perfect for a summer display. They just, I love the color that they add to display. This one is um, made by Knee High. And we had a Knee High bottling plant here in my county. Uh, this one was, it's Duraglass and it was made in, where does it say? The Knee High Bottling Company. Doesn't say where. This is $8.50 and it's number 30. Number 30 is $8.50 for the Royal Crown bo bottle. Emma, do you use round wire or tape for masks? I use like... It's, uh, it's wire, but it's... It's like industrial bread ties, basically. Yeah, they're like industrial bread they're ties. They're for the garden, but... Yeah, they're for your garden. It looks like a bread tie, but it's on like a spool. And you can get them at Lowe's, I think. Okay, for 30, I have Janice, Janice Stevens. Stevens. Now, Rachel, never fear, because I have, I'm going to show another one, and I have a lot more bottles. 
Okay. Yeah, the stitches aren't going to be, I mean, she's not a professional seamstress, but she does a really good job and she's kind of a perfectionist. So they are very well made. All right. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, here's another can. It is a Hercules. Look at that. Urgh. He's so powerful and strong. Dark cutting oil with sulfur lard base. Again, a great can with great graphics on it. This one's nice and clean. What? Emma's laughing at the... Uh, uh, nothing. Oh. Uh, but anyway, I love the graphics on this. It's like an, it's an oil, a cutting oil can. Pretty clean on the bottom and on the top. It does have the little spigot lid. This is $15 and it is number 27. It was made by the Hercules Chemical Company in uh, New York, New York. Luke commented. Luke commented. Mm -hmm. Hi, Luke. I have uh, JL. JL. I don't know who that is, but. So make sure that you send me an email. What did Luke say? Luke's I like, have. Yeah. Oh. I have a code. For okay, you. okay, Luke. I've been telling Dad that he needs a good hold of you, so you guys can can at least go arrowhead hunting somewhere and go find a field, and you can be outside. Okay. Next, we have a little. Oh no, not hall. This is Roseville. Roseville was made in Illinois. These are pretty pretty common around here. It's not you know an uncommon piece, but. Um, it still looks cute with some dried flowers in here, especially in the fall. Just a cute little pitcher. It's made by Roseville, USA. You can see there on the bottom. And it does, it needs to be cleaned. It's got a little, little bit of a spot right there. No chips, no cracks, no flaws on it anywhere. This is $6 and it's number nine. Number nine is $6 for the little Roseville pottery jug dried flowers would look pretty in joan it joan peterman joan peterman or maybe joanne i don't know or joanne peterman okay yeah audra says you make 20 masks and that's a hundred dollars i would if my sewing machine yeah, she's got it we got to figure out something with a new sewing machine we might need to invest because this sewing machine is as old as she is. Older than I am. Yeah, it is older. No, it's not older than you are. I think we got it when you were little. Okay. But Oh, thank you, Tina. Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Yes, and if you have a YouTube channel, put it in the comments so people can um, make it. You can go back. Actually, if you have a YouTube channel, put it in when this video goes live or when it goes after we're not live anymore. Put your YouTube channel in the um Actual the actual comments of the video so people can go back and check and make sure that they follow your channel. So if you have a YouTube channel, put it down in the comments. Oh, bye, Tina. Okay. Yeah, we we found a one at the uh, sewing machine at the bins that we regret not buying, but we didn't. Okay, next we've got this cute little puppy planter. Now I'm on I'm on the hunt for more planters. So this is something that I am actively looking for. So I'm gonna hope to be able to bring some to you every week. This one's no no chips, no cracks, no flaws on it anywhere. He's so cute. Uh, no, also no markings on him anywhere. And I I haven't sat down and researched him to see who, who makes him. He has a little bitty, a little bitty chip, but it's on the bottom of his foot, but I just wanna mention it. You can't even see it, but it, it, it is there. He is $14 and he is number 34. $14 for the dog planter number 34. He's so cute. I have Sherry O'Neill. Sherry O'Neill. Hey, yeah, you can use this as a planter, Alex. Alex loves plants. All right, I gotta get another drink. How are we doing, guys? Should I show some more? Sure, why not? I have it all ready. All right, now we have another book. This one is, also has really cool graphics with this very um, handsome man here. It, now, this is a scratch on the cover, so the cover isn't perfect. Uh, this was Lorna's book. 
I like it when books have writing on the inside of it. But this one is Killer by Proxy. And its copyright date is 1948. No. 1950. 1947 was the original. So, oh, this has the cast of characters. Let's see what these cast of characters. We have Eve Gill, an unconventional girl turned detective to save Jonathan. Um, and then, oh, and she masqueraded as two different people. as Dorothy Simpson and Felicity Cunningham. And then we have Jonathan Penrose. He was determined to protect Charlotte if it meant his own conviction. So it sounds like um, this girl was basically framing this guy for killing somebody. That's probably the gist of it. But but then another girl wouldn't let him take the murder rap. I don't know. It's really cool. He let a lovely lady frame him. Really neat book uh, made by a Bantam book. It is $5 and it's number 50. $5 for the book it's number 50. Killer by Proxy. She's so fancy too. I have Michael Todd. Michael! Whoop. Michael, I got a whole slew of books. I need to sit down and look through them. Okay, let's do this. This is really pretty. This is a um, Camark little kind of a deco looking vase. Make sure I have it. Or planter. You can put a plant in it. Uh, no chips, no cracks or flaws in it. It it's more of a like a mauve or a or of a maroon. Emma, Emma, I have a sewing machine I don't use. I will bring oh, it on Friday. Lovely. We will buy it. We could do some trading, Andrea. We could do some trading. Okay. So the planter is made by Caremark or whatever. So Andrew, you can send me some more details in an email. This is $6 and it is number 54. Oops, number 54 is $6. No chips, no cracks, no flaws on it. Very, very pretty mid-century, not mid-century, but Art Deco looking vase. I have Joanne. Joanne. Or Joan or whoever she is. Joanne it is Joan. Joan. Joanne. Joanne. I think it's Joanne. Okay, Joanne, that, that one is yours. All right, next I have, and I have a couple more of these, but a 7-Up bottle. Again, perfect for a summer display. I like that it's that it's short and short and stout. I can relate to you, 7-Up bottle. Seven fluid ounces. It doesn't have the bubble girl on them like the other ones that I have. But this one was bottled in Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know why it was why it says it's bottled in two different places, but I think that's just where the bottling company was located. Um, and it has the Seven Up on the back, fresh up with Seven Up. This is six dollars, and it's number thirty-five. Number thirty-five is six dollars. Oh yeah, you could. I actually, I don't think I have it anymore, but I did have a little laundry sprinkler. That, that that would be cute in. 35, I have Cecina Marcus. Cena Marcus. Did I say, Cena, we always say your name wrong. And she has like sent me emails with it phonetically spelled out. And I still probably say it wrong. I'm so sorry. It's such a pretty name too. All right. Pay attention because this one's probably going to go fast too. But this is an Indiana Glass Amberina pitcher. I think it's sun and moon. I, I don't know my glassware very well. I think it's pretty. I had it displayed at Halloween in the fall. It's just moon and stars. Okay, moon and stars. That's what I say, sun and moon. I was close. No chips, no cracks, no flaws on it anywhere. It's a very beautiful piece. This is... Are you ready? $8.50. That's what I had it marked for in the shop, and it's number 24. Number 24 is $8.50. Did I say Indi I have it as Indiana Glass. I don't know. I don't know my glassware like this, guys. It's just not my jam. Um, I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl! It's very... It's a heavy piece, but... These are very pretty. I just don't, I don't, 
it's just not something that I gravitate towards. So I don't really know that much about them. Okay, I have a pillow that's perfect for Memorial Day and 4th of July. I actually have another one of these that will be displayed in, okay, it's Ellie Smith. Well, okay, great. Yes, it is, because I have another set here and it says that right there on the tag. Okay, this is a pillow made by my mother with the, the fabric has kind of a shimmer to it and it has um, vintage buttons on each side. That one's a Bakelite button. You get a Bakelite button in this pillow. That's Bakelite. I wonder if Mama, did you know that that was Bakelite button that you put in this pillow? This pillow is $14 and it is number 51. 51 is $14 for the cool pillow with the Bakelite button. Yeah, Mom does make some really nice things. There for a while she was bringing in pillows to the shop a lot. And my husband kept telling her, we're not a pillow store. But she does do a good job. And she, I like that she uses the vintage buttons. I have Joan Peterman. Joan, Joan Peterman. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have another linen piece. This one's really pretty. This is another dresser scarf. It's a really wide one. It has this really beautiful pink trim. It's just like this on each side. It does have some stains on it. I have not treated it. It has the lace that goes all the way around the trim. And then this design on the other side, this really pretty pink um, edging on it. This is $8 and it's number 41. Are those just floating threads? Or yeah, these are just threads that are on it. They're not holes or anything. They're just threads that are on it. $8 for number 41. 41. I have Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. Okay. Next we have another uh, silver plate, coffee tea, I don't know, coffee tea kettle. This is fancy. Uh, it has a really pretty finial on the top there and the handle on it is really pretty too. You can see here. And also the spout has this really pretty design. It isn't marked anywhere on it. So that that's real helpful, but it's really pretty, and again, you can put flowers in here. I always mean to bring a, some flowers over here to show you, but we'll just grab these. You now you can put a floral arrangement and put it. I actually have two of these on my dining room table with like faux hydrangeas in it, pink faux hydrangeas. That's really pretty. So you can put flowers in it. This is eighteen dollars. This is heavy. Just just telling you, it's it's heavy. It's eighteen dollars, and it's number seven. Number seven is $18. Ooh, it even has a fancy little spout there on it, too. I have Roy Exum. Roy Exum. Seven, okay. Number seven is $18. Luke said bye. Oh, bye, Luke. D, are you leaving, too? Or are you just, are you selling Luke bye, too? <laughs> Oh, I know. I It's hard for me not to give styling tips because it's just fun for me. I okay. Like your shirt. Hmm? I like your shirt. You like my shirt? Empowered women, empower women. Okay. Next, we have a really, really cute little nursery lamp. It's made out of wood. This is just about the pre most precious little thing. They're going to their bathhouse. She looks like she's going to give him a big kiss, too. So it's made out of wood. It is, it says on the, the bottom of it has a date stamped on it. May 23rd, 1969. And uh, there is a maker on there, but I can't tell what it is. Uh, this, and it, this does work. It has a cord on it that it's the original cord, but the cord is fine. Um, I don't have a shade for it, unfortunately, but you can get a shade for it. Just, you know, a white shade or a yellow shade. This lamp is $18 and it is number 11. And it's not too heavy either. It's pretty lightweight. So number 11 is $18 for the cute little nursery lamp. 
I love it. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl? She's got fast fingers. She got fast fingers. She got the fastest typing fingers in the list. Big ones. Okay, then this next thing is something that I myself love, love, love. This was in the video too. It's this beautiful picture, group picture with these little girls on each end with all these men. So I don't know what the deal is with that. There's no other like information on this picture at all, but they kind of, I mean, look at their hats. They kind of look like, like a old fashioned police officer's hat. I don't know. But look, he's got short pants. <laughs> you can see his, you can see his ankles. The frame is a wooden frame, um, and it isn't. Oh, it just says number seventy-one. Dad actually put this picture in the frame, so the picture isn't original to the frame. But the matting around the frame, it's going to be kind of hard to tell. It does have this really pretty scroll work here? It's like a cult, maybe. But I like looking at all the things in the background in these pictures. Like I can see they've got like a fence over here and I try to look in the windows. I don't know. That's what I do. I like to look at their faces and I wonder who they are and where they came from. And well, I say where they're at now. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is $16 and it's number five. Number five is $16 for the glary picture of the, all the men and the two little girls. I have five wand Five wand hall, number five. Okay, I, I'm not recognizing some of these names, so make sure that you send me an email because I won't be able to find you otherwise. It's in, the huh? it's in the description. Yeah, my email's in the description. All right, I got an apron here. This one is so cool. I love this one. I love that it's red and white polka dots. On each pocket, this one says, don't feed me. And so it's kind of like, let's say it's like painted on. It's not stitched on. And then the other side says, I'm a, I'm a waste watcher. Uh, don't feed me. I'm a waste watcher. For this cute little red and white polka dotted apron. This is $12 and it's number 39. $12. Yes, Lorianne, if I will offer to the next in line, I, cause I can go back and look at the chat. If I don't hear from the person I get uh, within a week, if I, if I don't hear back within a week, then it, I'll go to the next person in line. I have Cena Marcus. Cena. This is so cool. I love this apron. I love it. Okay. All right. Let's do another face mask. Now, this one is, this one would be suitable for a gentleman. It is blue, just like a navy blue and black. It looks like one of those notebooks. Yeah, it kind of looks like a composition notebook. And again, it, you know, spreads up on your face. It does have the wire on the inside. Um, Emma, Emma, what, how are you saying her name? Sasina. 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 Well, she goes by Sina, I think. But you go by Sina, okay. It has the gray flannel on the inside and the ear bands on each side of elastic. This is $5 and it is letter A. a. Letter A is $5 for the blue masculine looking face mask. I have Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos. I have a feeling Emma, I'm gonna get lots of emails about making face masks. So we I hopefully no problem making them if I didn't it's the sewing them. machine. I know. Yeah. Okay. Here's the other Amberina set. And look, if I was a smart person, I would have known it's because it has a tag and it says handmade by Smith, which would be Ellie Smith. So this has the little tag on the inside. So we've got the little creamer and the sugar bowl. They're both in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks, no flaws. Again, the sun and moon. Pattern? Moon, moon, I don't know. My, I, we're going to say that's sentiment. I think that's what it is. This is eight, also $8.50 for the, the set of them. And it is number 25. Number 25 for the set. Moon and stars. Moon and stars. It's 
number 25 for $8.50. I have JL. Okay, JL. I love Amberina stuff for Halloween. But again, glassware just isn't my thing. Unless it's shaped like an animal or it's something like, ooh, like these. This is the kind of glassware that I like. This kind of stuff. All right, so these are the cool shakers. I actually have a set of these. Mine are this one and then the, the boy, the husband, I guess. So on, I'm trying to do this without showing the tag. On this side, it says love. And see how pleasant and happy she is. She's got her, she's got her little purse or Bible or something in her hand. And then the other, you flip it around on the other side. And this side is marriage. So D, these will be perfect for your daughter <laughs> for a wedding gift. Um, they both have the stoppers in them. They're marked Japan. And these are $15. Before I tell you the number, they do have crazing on them. And this one has a crack. It's not through and through, but it is there, just so you know. Um, these are $15, and they are number 15 for the love and marriage salt and pepper shakers. I love crazing. I know, Michael. I love crazing. I don't mind crazing at all. I love Ironstone, and if it has a lot of crazing, I like it even more. I have Joanne Baber. Joanne Baber. Yeah, I like those girls. I was so excited that I found them because I, I thought I had the only one. And I found the other one. Okay, this is a really pretty bowl. It's made by Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. It's an oven-proof bowl. Now, I, in my video, I said that this was black or something or gray it's actually like a lavender color it's a lavender color with this black band that goes all the way around and the pink trim i think the colors on this are very very pretty um, it has it does have a little some little flea bites in it and a little glazing flaw right there it is marked hall usa whoops oven proof and this little cute little bowl is $6 and it's number eight. $6 for number eight. Somebody's knocking on the door. Okay, it looks like poop biscuits. <laughs> We're gonna save all of these. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, now I'm live. Someone's trying to break in. I got 269 witnesses. Have, okay, poop biscuit says they're real. Oh, okay. Okay, so poop biscuits, make sure you send me an email. We'll go with the backup. If I don't hear back from you, we're gonna go with the backup person. Okay. I have made some of my keys if they try to break in. No, they're gone. What was that? It was just, this happens. I put like frosted, why did they bang on the door, though? They banged on the door. It was like a, a couple. They weren't like anybody. But I have frosted film on the door so people can't peek in at me. They're still there. No, they're leaving. It's like, turn off the lights and pretend we're not home. They left. I know you got a job to do. Okay, let's get on with the sale, shall we? Oh, Emma, we have trolls. Okay, so if you have a wrench. Of course, as soon as I get up, that's what happens. Um, Michael, I made you a, okay, I make, I'm, I'm. Alex is getting it, Nessie Handy's getting it, they got it. I know, but I'm adding some more moderators. Okay. Okay. Oh, quirky girl. Quirky, I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't heard from you in a while. Okay. So this is a really cool piece. This is really, really, really pretty. It is this frame with this mother. And it 
God took the sunshine from the skies and made the love light in your eyes. From the honeyed flowers, he took the dew and made your tears unselfish true. Upon a rock, he built your faith. With angel prayers, he gave you breath. And with his love, he, he made, made yours divine. But best of all, he made you mine. Every mother wants their child to give them that. And this really cool frame, the frame is wooden. This frame kind of is wobbly. It does not have glass. And so you get the frame and the little sentiment for your mother, or you can put a different picture in here. The frame does have a little bit of wear around the corners, but these frames are just, I just love these. They're just a statement, but you know, it does wobble around a little bit. If you, if, I, if you don't move it around, it stays down, but when I'm moving it around, it'll flip up. But this is $20 for the frame and print, and it's number 29. It is very lightweight too. This does not weigh very much, especially since it doesn't have the glass in it. So the back looks like. So number 29 is $20. Okay. And if it doesn't sell, I guess I could keep that frame. I like that frame. Okay. Quirky Girl is not a troll. Okay, here we go. This is a really cool book. This was in the video with this guy on it with his bloodshot eyes holding his drink and a cigarette. It's Asylum. This is that warm and fuzzy feeling book, you know, that you'll read it and I'm sure you'll be inspired. But it's, he didn't want a drunkard's grave. It was copyright in 1947 from Bantam Books. I love the graphic on there. <laughs> it looks like Michael. Look at all those bottles there. It's an alcoholic takes the cure. It is $5 and it's number 51. Number 51 is $5. Uh, okay. 51 is $5. Alrighty. Next we have another really cool apron. This one is a it's Wait, black and white. Huh? What'd you say that was? That book? 50. Number 51 is five dollars. Okay. It's not number 51? No, it's 49. Well, it's 51 according to them. Whoever if somebody nobody wanted it. Okay. This is a black and white gingham apron with this really pretty red bows i thought they were pretzels at first they kind of look like pretzels but look at the pretty the neat rickrack around it it's kind of a longer apron this is 12 dollars, and it's number 40. Michael got the book. oh michael got the book 12 dollars. michael you got the the alcoholic book would you consider doing live bids on select items since some of us are lower um no i cannot do an auction but I am considering doing like a pre-recorded sale, not, I mean, as an extra sale, not, I mean, I'll still have my Wednesday sales. I'm, I'm trying to think of a few things. And actually this Monday, I'm going to be posting more information. It's reconnecting me. Am I back? It's buffering, but your face is back at least. Am I back? Everyone's saying back, but I'm not getting it yet. So you're probably back on. Oh, I lost a lot of people. And now there's 114. I don't know what the deal was. That's weird. That hasn't happened in a long time. Sorry. I'm so yeah, sorry. You're back. It's just kind of blurry. There we go. It's good. That is the most stressful thing about going live. Is that. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, The apron. Did someone claim the apron? I, I think you went live before you said it. Okay. Or you went out before you said it. So the apron is $12 and it's number 40. $12 for number what? What? 40 was already number. What? It's okay. Here. I'm going to have to. It's 40. Maybe Deanna Dill already got it. Oh. Did you already have two aprons? Yeah. No. Maybe De Mama said Deanna Oh, I'm very she, grainy. She was first. It's yeah. buffering again. Hang on, let me. First time. Apron. Sorry. 
Okay, I turned the Wi-Fi off. Is that... Is it still grainy? It's a little bit. You're good. Just keep going. I'm going to refresh. Okay. Oops. Oh, cancel. What is going on here? Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, let's keep moving on. I have another face mask. Now, this one, Emma, what's the deal with this one? This one does not have the metal uh, nose ring in it. Or nose ring. The, the nose thing. Okay. Um, it's just uh, not as It's long. smaller. It's not as long, so it's smaller. It could be maybe for... It's not as long this way. Yeah, it's not as long. It's not as long and lengthwise. So, so if you have a small face. If you have a small face or maybe a, you know, a child could maybe wear this one too. This one's also $5. It's this really cool black and white polka dot with the flannel on the inside. It's $5 and it is letter... M? M. Letter M is $5. Now, this size, it had fit my face, but I have a smaller face. Emma and my husband have bigger. Uh, Mary. Mary! Emma is going to make more of these. We're just trying to figure out the sewing machine issue because that's taken her... It's taking her a lot longer. Okay. Next, I have a really pretty piece of silver plate. This is international silver, really pretty and fancy serving platter. You could put cookies on this and be fancy pants. And I'm going to go ahead and include the little tongs that go, the, the tongs will go with it. So I guess you could put cheese on it because that's what you would use the tongs for. But it is marked international silver. There on the back. Hi girls. Fatberg finds. So you get both pieces and it is is I just put the sticker on the wrong thing. Number six. Five, it's six, number seven. six, and it's fifteen dollars for both the tongs and the really fancy server. And it has. Let me get, I'll show you the design on it. It's really pretty. Okay. I have Sue Taylor. Sue. Earlier winger. No. I'm going to say it wrong all the time, Sue. I'm sorry. She's awful at pronouncing names. Okay, I don't know that Michael will want this book, so y'all might have a chance for this. I don't know. Maybe Michael would want this book. But this is The Eight Cousins. Look at the colors on this book. That's why I love this book so much. And the binding on it has a little rose. So this would look really pretty on a shelf. Look at how pretty this would be like if you had... You said I don't. Yeah, I didn't think so. You had like some silver on a shelf. It it would look pretty. But this is the Eight Cousin, and it's by Louisa May Alcott. And the back of it's okay. It's just kind of boring on the back. It the inside of it's pretty too. This one is hardback, obviously, and copyright Roman numerals. We're not going to try to figure that out. So the Eight Cousins book is eight dollars, coincidentally, and it's number twenty-two. Yeah, the, the spine itself would make a great display. I think I think it, it's that's probably the best part of the book is With the spine. Jill Mozina, Mozina. Jill Mozina. Yeah, I like this. I think that it's really pretty, and I guess they're all cousins. I don't know. I've never read Louise May Alcott's book. Okay. Where are you? Where? Oh, it's on the inside. This. Next item is heavy, so just just keep that in mind that it is heavy. But it's this beautiful canister filled with these um, spools, and the spools are just a lot of them are these uh, Coates and Clark's, but there are a few, you know, different different labels on them, and they're different sizes. This beautiful apothecary canister now the lid well let me just show you the sides of it how pretty it is how it has this um the the ribbing and stuff on it's not marked anything on the bottom but the lid itself does have a couple areas where it's just got those little flea bites and i thought yeah it has a little bit of a flaw right there so the lid is not in perfect condition and it does say on the inside um other wait 
It's 1900. August 28th, 1900. Um, golly. Other patents pending. What does that say? I don't know. 1900. It is very, very cute. It's so cute. That's so, so good, Kathy. It's so cute. Okay, so this cute little canister filled with all of the spools. It is kind of heavy. And it is $25 and it's number four. It's 1900, it dated 1900, $25 for number four. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl, you're gonna get another heavy box, girl. Oh, yeah, I have two more things. Two more things. Yes, and if you have, you know, I bought those spools probably at an auction or a yard sale, and I think they look cool in, you know, the glass containers and stuff. Yes, D is having a sale Saturday. Whose sale is tonight? Someone having a sale tonight? I don't remember. I have to look at the list. I'll post the list again of the sales on my uh, Instagram uh, feed so you can you know, if you don't, if you haven't seen the list of sales, there is a sale every single day this week and probably next week too. I don't know. Vinny sale is Saturday. I'll post the, the, um, the schedule again on YouTube and on Instagram so you can check it out again. Um, I don't ship FedEx simply because the times that I have shipped FedEx, the, the things have gotten broken more times than not. So I just don't trust FedEx with shipping. So I, that's why it always scares me too. Yes, do that with your spools. They little good in ball jars too. All right, so I have two of these and you will get both of these prints. Um, they are the Godey's Americanized Paris Fashions and it's dated 1848. You get the, you get both of them. Let me, I'm trying to hide the number here. This one's really pretty. She's got a really pretty yellow dress on. This one says, Godey's American Paris Fashions. This one's 1847 and 1848, and there's a big glare. So you will get both of these. And here are the backs. They are old. They, do, they both have the wire on them for hanging. The back of this one is a little water damaged, but the, um, the prints themselves do have, like they do have a little bit of water damage on them. But I would hang them up just as they are. I like the, I like the kind of the rough look on them, I guess. There's a little spot right there, too, that looks like it's really thin. So these are, you get both of them for $20. So they'd be $10 a piece. They're number 19. Number 19 are both of these Godey's Americanized prints for $20. I have so terrible there. Sue Terrell wing, Winger. Oh my God, no. So you're going to have to phonetically say it. She said it. I, I know, it, right? but she's going to have to say it. So she's going to have to tell me again. Okay. Oh no, I actually have two more things. One of the things I'm saving for the last because it's been pretty popular and I've had a lot of emails on it. People want me to sell it to them before, beforehand and I can't do that. I've already so, told people I've been going to show it in my sale. Who got number six? Sue, Sue, Sue. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that, Patrick. If you are on Facebook, there's a new page to track when the sales are, and it is a vintage live YouTube. We're we're gonna make something. I'm gonna see if I can get Emma to make a little. She's rolling her eyes. I'm gonna have her make a little bit of a graphic, but it will track all of the live sales that are happening. So that's if you're on Facebook, then you can do that. I have a quilt. Um, I have a couple quilts, so I'm going to try this one and see how it does. And I may have to move the camera back a little bit to be able to show this whole thing. So it is a big quilt, perfect for 4th of July and Memorial Day. It's red, white, and blue. It does have some spots that are very thin. It looks and, like a twin size. And a couple little holes in it. These, I... I've been hoarding quilts for a little while. I had these all folded and displayed in a cabinet. And my family, we love to pull a quilt out and cover up with it when we're watching TV. We love quilts. We all have quilts on our bed. 
it's just what we what we enjoy so this one is um it does on the other side it's just white but the ends have this like a red and white pinstripe here it is hand stitched and where's the tag it is $45 and it is number 33. I do combine shipping. Yes, I do. Number 33 is a twin size, right? Is $45. It would fit on a twin size bed. Yes. But I like them on the back of my couch or in a cabinet where I can just pull them in. It is clean. It has been washed. It used to be in my house. I have uh Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. Yeah, this is a great one. I like this quilt. I like the colors in it. It's it's a it's a, a different color colorway than most quilts that I've seen. Okay, guys. Get your little fingers ready. So we got the Indiana glass, stars and bars, green, fairy lamp. I do not think that this glows. So I'm just throwing that out there now. I don't know for sure, but I don't think that it does. I really don't think that it does. Oh, my fingers are stuck in it. So it's in excellent condition. There's no chips, no cracks, no flaws on it anywhere. This little fairy lamp. Just the bottom of it. This is $16. And it's heavy. Just keep that in mind. It's $16. And it's number 28. Number 28, the green stars and bars fairy lamp is $16. C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie is the lucky winner. I will be having a couple more fairy lamps. At least at least one more. I think I'm I'm clearing out my collection because I'm, you know, I'm moving on. All right. So I knew that that one would be popular. That's why I saved it to the last. So thank you guys so much. If you have won something, make sure that you send me an email. And you may not hear back from me tonight because I kind of, I, I kind of take the night off a little bit. I have some other things I need to do here, but um, you will hear back from me. I, it, it will take me all weekend. I, I will ship things out tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. So I do ship things out as quickly as I can. It does take me a little while because I'm, I do this by myself and, um, I make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up. And if you have a YouTube channel, put in the, the actual description of the video, your YouTube channel or your Instagram channel or your eBay store. Um, that's so what people in the comments of the video, not in the description. That way you can, you know, you can check out some other people's channels and there's eBay stores and, um, yes, you I do you do have to have a license to be, be able to do an auction so I won't be doing an auction you came for the stone turn. hey I'm always looking for stuff like that so make sure that you keep coming back because those are the things that I am drawn to are the weird and odd and unique and strange things so give this video a thumbs up and I will see you over on Instagram because I have 15 more things so come over on Instagram, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Bye.